What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Mike. I read 6 of the 8 comics that I purchased this week, but I have a huge update for you guys. I canceled my pull list. I no longer have physical content to show you guys. It's all digital, it's going to be a digital haul. And it's going to be a little awkward at first, but give me, you know, give me a little chance here guys. But the main reason I'm going digital is because of space. I only have enough room for maybe short boxes. That's not going to last a very long time. And digital takes up absolutely no space. Also think it might be a little beneficial just because I get to explore new stuff. Before I was so limited on space, I had to be worried about what I picked up. Now I can try a bunch of crap without worrying about space. So it might be a little beneficial. Anyways, give me a chance just because it's going to be a little awkward. At first I had, you know, a comic. I was able to keep track of what I purchased you know, for the day. And also, you know, I can show you that way. Now I got these dumb little flashcards. It has the name of the comic, the issue, who makes it. This one says Ricky and Lorenzo just because those two names I probably would forget. But anyways, under that says New Masters and Nightmare Blog, the two issues that I did not read this week. But let's jump on to this digital haul and see how it goes. <laughs> um, we got Primos issue 1 of 4. Primos means Cousins, so Cousins 1 of 4, made by AWA Upshot. Right off the bat, I want to say you don't have to rush out there and buy this. It was not the best comic. It wasn't horrible. It was a decent read. I'll pick up the rest. But um, if you want to support Latino culture and see some color in the comics, then pick up Primos issue 1 at least. You know, support... But let's continue. It's about Ricky. One day Ricky's out partying with his buddies. He's doing drugs, getting drunk and stuff like that. And he remembers my little brother's home alone. I better get my ass home because if not, I'm going to get in trouble by my mama. So he rushes home and he's chilling with his little brother. All of a sudden this big mind dude shows up in his living room. He thinks the drugs are finally kicking in. But his little brother sees it as well. So they freak out and get scared because this big ass dude's in the living room. This guy ends up talking to him and tells Ricky he comes from a lineage of shamans, Mayan shamans that is. He gives him this weird bracelet. Uh, it's like a Green Lantern type of bracelet. All of a sudden his eyes light up green. He gets this vision of these big old buff Mayan dudes. They're on their way to the hospital where his mom works. He's like, they're going to attack my mom. We got to rush over there. So they go over there and it's a trick. Don't want to see what happens after that, but it's a trick. And once again, you guys have to rush out there and buy it. No, but if you want to support the Latino culture and see some colors and comic. And pick it up and give it a shot. That'd be pretty cool of you guys. Let's continue on to Sweet Paprika issue number seven. They've all been pretty solid. Seven issues deep of the 12th, and it's been pretty fun. I think a trade just came out, so pick that up if you do want to give it a shot. And this one we have Dill and Paprika. They go on a date, a nice romantic day at this restaurant. Dill finally dresses up. He's in this nice suit. He's looking all sharp. Paprika likes what she sees. She's giving him the eyes. Like, okay, you're looking pretty sharp, my man. And uh, they're having a good time, right? They're having this nice romantic dinner. They're talking. He's kind of kissing on her and making his moves. All of a sudden, her ex shows up, Burnett, and he just barges in there, ruins the date. He shows up with his girl, or at least his date for the day. And they start taking pictures of Paprika and Dill. He wants to send them to Zoltar because Paprika, you know, really likes Zoltar. And he wants to just be a hater and ruin that courtship. And uh, Dill freaks out and just throws him against the wall and tells him pretty much, you know, don't be taking pictures of us. Don't send it to him if you know what's good for you. And uh, the big thing, though, is Dill wants to call off his whole friend's benefits because he says it's not fair to Zoltar. So it's a solid read. Give it a shot. I suggest it for you guys. Uh, let's continue on to Man in Black, issue one by Dark Horse. It's a Colin Bunn comic. This issue starts off with uh, Ari and Roman, I believe his name was. Ari has this ability to control fire. So they're in the courtyard and Roman's uh, showing her how to control it. So she has like this whip coming out of her hand. She's sticking out her hand and just, you know, this big old flames coming out. And she's like maneuvering it and stuff. So he's kind of showing her how to do that. Uh, the lesson's over. She goes explores the grounds they live on. She finds this ruin. At this ruin, all of a sudden she starts hearing voices. And this blood starts coming out of the grounds. So blood's going to be a big part of this comic because it's called uh, Manor Black, I believe. But it's like fire and blood or blood and something is the little after title, I guess you could call it. So it's going to be a big part. Um, we also get this cool backstory of Roman. He's coming back from the military. I don't know if it's a war or something like that, but he goes home. And his dad ends up telling him, like, I'm not sure if we're the same Roman. He asks him to do something. It's kind of like stigmata. He puts out his hand and this blood just starts flowing out of his hand. All creepy. We also get this murder at the end, which is pretty freaky. And so it's going to be a pretty cool, freaky, spooky, supernatural type book. I enjoyed it. And I suggest you guys pick it up and give it a chance. We have New Burn, issue number three by Image Comics. Another fun little solid read. We have New Burn. He's trying to figure out the um, killings that are taking place amongst the mobsters. So the mobsters call this meeting. They tell New Burn what type of info you got for us. Give us an update. 
pretty much tells them I got nothing for you. Uh, whoever's doing this though is pretty close to you guys. They kind of freak out like, what do you mean you have nothing for us? You better find something. We're giving you two weeks or something bad's going to happen. And so Newborn gets on it. He finds out who is up doing the killings. Pretty good read. Fun. I suggest you guys pick up uh, Newborn as well. Next, we got Dark Knights of Steel. Issue number four. I always give this praise. Probably the top book this week as well. And um, yeah, just pick it up, guys. Like Every damn week, I always or every time it comes out, I always say pick it up. But this one, we have Superman's parents. They end up crashing to Earth. They don't want anyone to know that they have these superhuman, you know, type of powers. So they keep a low-key life. And one day, this volcano is about to erupt. And Superman's dad's like, okay, this is what the kingdom has to do to, you know, save themselves from burning by all this lava. So he writes up this plan. He takes it to uh, Lex Luthor. He's like, make sure the king gets this. You guys have to follow this plan in order to be safe. But Lex Luthor... Being an idiot, he ends up burning the plans, and he pretty much tells them, you know, I I know what's gonna happen. I spoke to the stars and all this weird stuff. He burns the plan set. Uh, the volcano erupts, and they're about to die. So in order to save the kingdom, Superman's parents have to reveal that they're superhuman. They start flying around and start digging holes and you know divert the lava. So uh, the Bruce Wayne's parents end up kicking Lex Luthor out of the kingdom. He comes back. I don't want to say ask who or what. It was a pretty cool scene. And um, yeah, just pretty fun read. We get this cool little backstory about how Superman's dad slept with Bruce's um, mom. That's how Bruce came into existence. Pretty cool. I suggest you guys pick it up. Solid read every single time. No complaints with that one. One of my favorite comics that's coming out right now. And last but not least, we got Chicken Devil issue number four. This one's a funny kooky type read. I like it. I enjoy it. We have Mitchell. Um, I can't say too much about ruining it, so I'll kind of give you a backstory, and I'm going to have to ruin it for you guys. But we have Mitchell, his partner. He ends up stealing some drugs. He gets involved with the monsters. Monsters want to kill him. So they end up going on this boat, and it ends up blowing up, right? So Mitchell thinks his family is killed. The monsters blew up his boat. His family was on there. So he goes on this killing spree. He starts killing a bunch of monsters and stuff. But one day in this issue, he's finally at home. He's chilling. His family's there. His family's at home. He's like, what the hell? I thought you guys got blown up. You're supposed to be dead. Like, no, we got off the boat because we seen you get off. And once the boat blew up, we just took off and went on vacation because we thought you tried to kill us. So they were scared. They were hiding. They were at this fancy hotel and stuff. So once again, they end up going to the house. And he, you know, he doesn't tell them what he did. But he's like, man, I thought you guys died. I just killed all these type of people. Went on this killing spree, and here you guys are after this vacation, having a good old time. So he's, you know, trying to figure out what he can do to uh, resolve this whole situation. But he can't do too much. So he, once again, he's going to go out and try to get these monsters to finally end this whole big old misunderstanding. And uh, he gets some backup that I wasn't expecting, which was pretty cool. And once again, it's a fun little read. Pick that one up as well. Nothing so far has been pretty bad that I read this week. Um, we got two more issues to go, so hopefully, you know, the trend continues. But once again, guys, thanks for sticking with me with this whole digital pool and see how it goes. If you have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments just because this is a whole new uh, type of thing for me. Anyways, guys, peace out. Have a good one. See you later.